Next up at UFC 295, we have Nazim Sadikov taking on Vaishlav Borshev. Nazim Sadikov, 9-1 overall. Actually, the there way you is. ended that, I like that. I can roll <laughs> If he dies, he dies. Nazim Sadikov, 9 and 1 overall. He is 5 and 0 in his last five, coming off the come from behind submission win over Terrence McKinney. He was losing that fight. Pulled it out, managed to make it happen. He's taking on Vaishlav Borshev. 7 and 3 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five. He's coming off a skid breaking win over Mahashete. Nazim Sadikov is a striker. Actually, he's also at that Sarah Longo fight, gym. There's a whole bunch of them on this He card. is. It's he the is. whole card. He is one. It's the whole card. Uh, solid kickboxer, good speed, good power. He's not reckless. He does take his time. He likes to find his openings. He'll plot forward and counter-strike at the same time. He is patient, but he will do some wild stuff. He's 9-1. and one. That one and only loss is because he spun around for no reason at all, and that... Got him in some trouble and he lost that fight. I mentioned he's coming off that submission win over Terrence McKinney. He got worked early, weathered the wrestle-heavy storm, came back, and got it done in the second round. He's taking on Vaishlava Borshev. This guy is a striker through and through. A fantastic striker. Had a legitimate professional kickboxing career before he transitioned to MMA. Great jab, solid power, great kicks. Unfortunately, everyone is well aware of how good his striking is. So they take him down. And he can be taken down. He's been taken down 24 times. Why am I listening to Christmas music? Oh, Slava Claus, idiot. Um, would you shut that off until it's your turn? You know, it's funny. My neighbors just put their Christmas lights up in their house. So I've seen them fun. popping up, man. It's like, holy <laughs> shit. I guess it is November now, but I mean, still. That's like a, it should be, It's you do it the day after Thanksgiving. And you do it, and you take them down. That's the day not after enough New Year's. time. That's not enough time. And you do it. That, that's a fucking month. That's no, six I, weeks listen, if you I wait till if you months. wait till New Year's. Dude, we're putting Christmas lights on three sides of this house. They're doing it on Thursday, oh, and they're gonna be on. They're gonna be on immediately. Anyway, Vaishlav Borshev, nasty striker. Everybody knows he's a nasty striker, so they want to take him down. He's been taken down twenty four times in five UFC fights, and that's a ton. But if you think about it, that means he stood up 22 or 23 times. He gets taken down. He works his way back up. He never quits. He's never out of it. But he can be ridden out. I mean, that's just the reality of what happens when you're a high-level striker. Rode hard and put up wet. <laughs> when you're a high-level striker. Know that, and... <laughs> Do you know that's an no, actual I, saying? I, I that's don't, an actual I saying. Don't, no. You're Mr. Country. I am not Mr. Country because I kill doves. I'm, I like to be real hard and put up wet. <laughs> what does that mean? You don't even know what that means? No, what's If wet? you take a Pace? horse out, if you take a horse out and you go ride and they sweat like crazy. So they ride them hard and they put them horses up wet. Horses sweat? Yeah, they get all sweaty, yeah. I didn't know horses got sweaty. I've taken riding lessons, so, I mean, I'm a equestrian. I'm not saying you're a liar. You clearly know your way around yeah, a so horse. You, you ride them hard and you put them up wet. Very bizarre. Anyway, Nazim, minus 135. This continues to tighten. He was minus 155 on Sunday when I did the quick picks video. He's minus 135 now. And I get it. I get it. He should be the favorite. He is the more well-rounded fighter. He's the more complete fighter. This is an MMA fight. But Vaishlav Borshev has nasty scramble skills, a great get-up game, and insane hands. I'm in a slight lean Vaishlav to win this fight. I think he can get it done. I mean, if they're going to end up in a striking match, that's a very big problem for Nazim. If Nazim wants to wrestle, he'll probably have some success. And Vaishlav's just going to stand right back up, and he's going to be ready to go with those hands. And Nazim is not a wrestler. Yes, he won his last fight by submission, but he is not a wrestler. So if he comes out here with a wrestle-heavy game plan, it's going to be sort of out of his comfort zone, not his normal style. And unless he turns into Mark DeCasey, who's just diving at legs all the time. Oh, all the... fuck Mark DeCasey, man. He's just, he turned it. The guy was a good striker. The guy's he he's like, oh, I'm going to put wrestler. on a show in Brazil. He ate two leg kicks and just laid on the guy. I actually think how he <laughs> won that fight. I mean, he was the only one doing anything. I mean, Mark literally was just like, don't move. Please don't move. And just every once in a while, just kind of, ooh. guy's a fucking loser. Well, point being, Nazim's not a wrestler. He will probably come out here looking to wrestle. It'd be foolish not to. 
And he may have some early success, but Borshev's not going to slow down. He's going to keep standing up. And if Nazim's not a wrestler and he's, all of a sudden he's wrestling, he's going to slow down. He's going to gas, potentially have some issues. So I think Vaishlav's going to get this done. And I guess so do a lot of other people because he opened at plus 285. He's plus 115. He might flip by fight night. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Yeah, it got real close at one point. I was watching him, and, and I'll be honest with you, this was the first bet that I placed. I like this matchup for Slava. You placed this bet a week and a half ago. Yeah, I, I like this fight for Slava um, because he is going to be the better striker. He's going to be by far the better striker in this matchup, and I know people are going to be like, as you mentioned, hey, just do it. you got to take him down. you got to take him down. you get the fifth takedown. He can't really. I mean, that's true. I mean, that, that is true. <laughs> but I've up. seen, if you watch him, and I feel like I'm I'm an expert in in, in, in take down the fence and all, and all this stuff. You you can see that he's improving. I honestly think that he really is improving. In that last fight versus was a Mahashete. Mahashete is not a wrestler, but he did take a decent shot when he started losing the striking. And Slava sprawled really well. I mean, he was really quick with that takedown defense. And the camp that he's at at Team Alpha Male, they know what they're doing. He's not at some hodgepodge, you know, camp where he's trying to learn himself. He's at Team Alpha Male. We've seen. Think about Song Yudong and the improvements that he has made in the wrestling, especially the takedown defense. It's almost impossible to take that guy down at, at this point. Slava, if you look at the Instagram, he's in there with Clay Guidi. He's at Team Alpha Male. All those guys, they, they know what they're doing. I have a feeling that he's going to come in and Nazim's going to think what everyone else is thinking. I'm not really a wrestler. As you mentioned, he doesn't really commit to the wrestling, but I'll just take this guy down. And when he can't take this guy down as easily as he thinks, he is going to be in a world for hurt because even if he gets him down, Slava's not a pussy. Slava's not a quitter. He is a guy that's going to keep working. He's getting better and better, not only at defending the takedowns, but getting back to his feet. And Slava is the much better fighter. And let me just end it with this. Nazim has a debt to not this is not a joking matter. No, I know you're Nazim going, yeah. has a debt to pay to the universe. And I've mentioned this before about fighters, and every time I do, it 100% comes true. Nazim was losing against my lock of the week, Evan Elder, was getting dominated. All three judges had it 10 9, 10 9 for Evan Elder. Evan Elder is not the striker Slava is. That was a mostly striking matchup, and he was doing enough to win that fight in this striking. Evan Elder, get a little baby cut above his eye. Mark Smith jumping in, thinking he's a savior. He, he's going to save the day. They stopped the fight. Nazim got a win that he did not deserve. He owes the universe a payback from that win. Slava finishes him. There you go. Well, the uh, MMA gods have come a-knocking, I guess. I, uh, <clears throat> I'm i on your side here. I, we uh, both have Vaishlav. People keep saying, why was he not your lock of the week? I thought he was going to be your lock of the week. Why isn't he your lock of the week? Oh, Slava? Yeah. Actually, that's a, I said it like it was a statement, but I guess it is a question. Because you did bet on him super early. Yeah, well, I thought we weren't giving away, so it could be Slava. Lock of the week it videos might, live. It might be. Check the video. It I mean, might be. That's like be. the fourth time you've done that. I, the lock of the week. I, I, ask, I specifically ask you. You didn't ask. Don't. Show me where you asked. In the earlier in the stream, before we went live, we were sitting here. I said, by the way, don't bring up Lock nah, of the Week. That, that's not true. <laughs> and I don't, I don't even know oh, who it is. There's 13 fights, which means wow. there's 12 other underdogs. Wow. Here. It's not Slava. And I'll be honest with you. It's, it's not, not Slava. Why not? It's not Slava. And this is honestly one of the main reasons I messaged him and wanted to do something cool for the video. I was like, I messaged him and was like, hey, this is what I'm doing. You're locking the week, this and this. I want you to record. And I was willing to pay him too. I literally said, I'll pay you. Willing er, to record a video just saying, hey, I'm Slava. I'm Jacob's Lock of the Week. That would have been awesome to put in the video. Guy leaves me not even on red. I don't even open the message. But he's, gonna, he's still going to win. But so I was like, fuck it. You know what? I mean, better better that it didn't even open it. If he opened it, that'd be pretty annoying. I got a lot, didn't of, even care. lot of girls opening my messages. By the way, Amanda Hebos. <laughs> Amanda Hebos responded to one of my messages. We have engaged in Instagram conversation through the DMs. <laughs> and that's a big step. There, tell you, think about this, Angela. It is. There was a point. Let me see what time it was that she said it. I kept saying you're going to get blocked and banned in a restraining order. She was you sitting. Wore it down. She was sitting in the sun, and I think she was in a swimming suit as well, judging by her stories in the <laughs> timeline. Just basking in the sun, laying in Brazil, had her phone open, and my DMs 
smiling, <laughs> ta- typing away. At one point, Amanda Hebos was just laying in the sun in Brazil, typing to me. That's a big step, man. That's a big step. A DM, and that's not public. Yeah, that's a private conversation. And this was a conversation. I mean, I said, because she posted a picture of, like, some trees and stuff. I said, is that a toucan? (laughs) (laughs) I said, is that a toucan? (laughs) She responded uh, three. That was on Wednesday. She responded on a Sunday. She told you where she lived? She responded on a Sunday. She said, yes, in front of my house, there is a lot of. With uh, and then you she added come, a uh, yeah, you should come. And then she added a lot of uh, like XO XO and like here I'll show you, I'll show you the picture. That she You're like, what's that? What's that purple vegetable? A couple of those. Angelo, I mean, let's try to get weird about it. Yeah, no. Is that a toucan? I'm the weirdo. Is that a toucan? She said yes. They are in the front of my house. There's a lot of. And then she, had, you can't really see that smiley face, but but it's the thirsty one. Anyway. Uh, back to this, $8,500 in DraftKings. No, thank you. $7,700 in DraftKings. Uh, I'm going to have to look it. a little closer. I'm well, when it. he wins, he puts up numbers. When he I'm loses, he's just he's defending finish takedowns. Second round, maybe third. Pop. Oh, Jacob's all over it. If you want to check out Jacob's bets for this fight, some of them have been placed for weeks. Go to wewantpicks.com, click become Months. a member. It's only $10 a month. And if you are a premium member, link your Discord. This way you can get alerts to your phone. You would have seen Jacob's bet a week and a half ago on this fight. When or he another one it. that was literally months ago. Not on this fight. On this card. And it was good value. What was it? Well, oh. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. We'll get there then. Wait, it's still up? Oh. It's up. And on the other okay. <laughs> Anyway, we want picks.com. Click become a member.